All right, guys, today we are unboxing a Rhino triple head candy machine from candymachines.com. Let's go ahead and get this box opened up. All right, so this is what the inside of the big box looks like. We've got a couple other smaller boxes. We pulled this one out. This is the top half of the candy machine. All right, let's open this up so I can show you guys what it's going to look like. All right, so right on top, we've got some stickers, manuals, and we've got the keys. So it comes with four keys. All right, now let's go ahead and pull this out. Now this first thing I'm pulling out here is the tray that sits right under where the candy dispenses. Now let's go ahead, we pulled this guy out get the plastic off so we can take a good look and now if you follow my channel you know that I recently bought one of these green ones but I just really like the way it looks so got another green one for the new location you can follow me here on YouTube and I go around and place candy machines and do collections all right now let's pull this last box out of here this should be the base and the pole so let's go ahead and get this opened up Right, now here's the pole. Here's what it looks like right out of the plastic, nice and shiny. All right, and here is the base. Now the base is pretty heavy. We'll get the plastic off here. There was no dents or chips in the candy machine, so candymachines.com definitely packaged it well, arrived nice and safe. Now, this is the way that I put the candy machines together I'm gonna show you. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screw in the pole here. Uh, here's, the, here's the candy machine. We've gotta get the screws out of the back of this. All four of these keys, by the way, work for the top and the back side of the machine. So every key's the same, four copies, that's nice to have. So here's some screws that we're gonna need. And you know what? We've got some more screws in here. This piece is gonna screw right on top of the pole first. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now we're gonna take that front plate and we're gonna line up the holes. And then we're gonna put the candy machine on top of this and we'll have to line up the holes with this as well. So now that it's lined up, I'm able to start putting the screws in. You're gonna have 12 screws. There's gonna be uh, two different sizes. So first I'm putting these eight in right here, these eight right in the center, and then there's gonna be the four outside ones. And when it's all said and done, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna be able to pop your trays back in. That's where the quarters are going to fall. All right, and there we go, guys. And it should be nice and sturdy. So here it is all put together. Very simple to do, doesn't take too much time. And then the last thing is just putting these stickers on. So you're able to put these wherever you'd like. This is probably where most people would put them, where I'm gonna put them here, so. So yeah, you guys, not too hard, nice and simple. This thing is ready to get filled up with candy and go to my newest location, which I will be doing early this next week. I wanted to do it this week, but I've ran out of time, so we'll place it next week. The only negative that I have is the white styrofoam it just flakes off and it's all over my floor now, so I'm gonna have to sweep that up. But other than that, hey, solid construction, excellent candy machine, highly recommend. Thanks for watching, guys.